Well, here we are on the Cleethorpe Light Coastal Railway, and I'm here for the special gala day that we're having today. And I'm here also here to meet two friends of mine, one from Wellingborough, one from Northampton, who have spent a couple of nights here, and uh, have come to see this gala as well. I haven't seen them yet, but they're here somewhere. I'm scheduled to meet them shortly. Got some lovely engines here. There's a double header ready to go out. Oh, is that one of the. That looks like the back of one of the blokes I'm meeting there. I think it's Amy. It is Amy. I don't know if he's seen me yet, but uh, he's busy there taking pictures. And Keith should be there not far away. I'm sure he will. I can't see him in the moment. Ah, there he is. Appeared from nowhere. But he's a uh, still camera, I think he's got there. So, we're um, <coughs> preparing ourselves for a couple of hours or so on this little light railway. That's the new section that opened this year. This used to be the main station. And then that's going to the other end where it uh, all began. So they had two stations, one at the other end and this one. This one now is the middle station because they've opened another line as you can see. And uh, we'll be looking at that later on. So you can ride from end to end, you can't have as many rides as you like, you get um, a chance to ride from one end to the other and stop off in the middle if you wish and then get another train back, but when your ticket's been clipped about four times you've had it, <laughs> that's how they know how long you've been on it you see. Here's a nice little engine, I don't know whether that's one of their engines or whether it's a borrowed one, this one I think is from the Dimchurch Railway. Yes, they're doing very well today. It's a nice sunny day. We're in Cleethorpes. And this is the quieter end. There's some caravans on the uh, left there. And a nice boating lane, but you can't really see that because of the trees. They don't half charge along. It's a wonderful little railway, this. It's, it's been on the go since the 1940s, I think. Get up some speed, all right. And this is the, when you come out of the station in the middle. This is a new part. This is where it's going to the other end of a, a new a new station that they've built, which we'll be able to look at shortly. And of course, there may be plans ahead to even go further still into the Humberston Fitties, which is another. Area where holiday makers go. There's plenty of people on that one. Oops. From the from the beginning of the line to the end, it's quite a long ride.
course it's a bank holiday weekend, that's what a lot of people about. We're back in the middle station now. This is the one from Dimchurch Railway, Romwe. People can get off here if they wish and uh, have a look around at the other engines that's uh, waiting to perform. Or they can go in the uh, cafe. I think there's a cafe on every station anyway where you can get a refreshment. There they are, the dynamic duo. A little one, there's nothing running. Oh, it's electric! Well, this is the new end of the line, uh, that's a signal box, which I've, I presume it's a signal box, which I've never seen before, and this is the new station that they've built. Last time I came they were just about building it, but now it's up and running for the season, and there's a little train pulling out now, you can see the tide is out, it's a long way out. But all this is a new part. You see all the cars lined up, people come here nearly every evening just to sit there and watch the ships in the River Humber or watch people with their kites and also people that's got like parachute things and they've got a, a thing with wheels on that pulls them along the sand and then there's those also that pull you along the water and there's always people doing that at Cleethorpes. You, you, it's a windy area. And this is the biggest engine they've got, I think, this one. The all 24. Magnificent beast, this. Now, I've moved a bit further down the line, and this is where the two trains pass each other. One may have to wait a few seconds, here's the other one coming in now. That's a line where you can um, pass each other. I must say, they get the timings right, because every time I've been on that particular point, there's always been one engine, like this one, and one engine coming. So this is that one, it's going to wait a few seconds, because the other one is due to come up, and then that one can progress on the same line. I think they exchange tokens as they pass each other. I can just about see the top of the engine that's coming, so they're only seconds apart really, here it comes. And that waits there just until the other one's cleared the line and then that one can continue its journey. Well organised, well timed. Sand dunes, the tide is very, very far out, and lots of people go out there. 
I've got to be very, very careful to not get caught by the tide. Very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And this walk way down, cycle path, you can cycle the whole length from one end to the other, or you can catch a train like we're doing and ride it. It's a fairly long walk, I can tell you. Takes you all the way back into Cleethorpe's that. And there's the other train waiting for us to come past. There they are, exchanging the tokens, as like I said. And lots of people on that one, too. These are the uh, day chalets. They look as if they need a bit of repairing to me. When they knew the um, train was going to be running along there, people were complaining that it was going to disturb their tranquility. So maybe people don't bother to hire them now. Maybe they don't like the sound of the train passing them several times a day during the uh, season. Well, we're on this is a new section, of course, and we're on our way to the middle station. That building there belongs to the Anglia Water Company. Well, I think they've done a marvellous job on here with this new extension. It really is nice. And now we're coming into the middle part of the line. And we'll be stopping for a little while. There's more people waiting to get on, no doubt. And once again, some more engines in the station. I think they take it in turns running. And once again, uh, this is where they hand the token to each other as they pass. This one's quite loaded up, isn't it? And in this corner is where they carry out the maintenance. Um, this is where the engines are put to bed at night. And we're on our way to the other station at the other end. On the right there, where the caravans are, it's, they're not there all the time. It, there's a special day there as well. They've got uh, old vehicles on display.
This is a part of the Cleethorpe's boating lake and we used to be able to row boats up there when I was a lad, but you can't do that now. You can still go on the boats, but they don't come as, can't get as far as this. Here we are arriving at uh, the Cleethorpe's station. Of course, there's a train there waiting to leave. So I hope you enjoyed our little trip on the uh, Cleethorpe's Coastal Light Railway.